guys, it's Nashcrafter and welcome to my channel for another episode here in my Minecraft 1.14 vanilla let's play. I think I messed that up. I normally say welcome to my 1.14 Minecraft vanilla let's play. Is that what I say? I don't even know. Um, today's episode is starting off a little bit funky. I've been doing a little bit of some some interesting things um in between episodes and uh, some weird things have gone down so let me explain before we hop into today's very exciting episode first things first i'm actually playing in a different version of minecraft so i updated to minecraft version 1.14.3 so that is officially what we're playing in but alongside that i am also playing in the fabric version of minecraft which is kind of like a new mod launcher I think it's sort of like Forge, something like that. It loads mods, basically, is what I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, so that is what we're currently playing in. And I will say, it has done some really weird things to my world, you guys. Some super, super weird things. And so this episode it has been delayed a little bit, but I'm super excited to get into it. So I just wanted to mention that I am playing with Replay Mod, and I also did get OptiFine to work. Thank you to another YouTuber who made a tutorial video. His name is Ike. He's amazing. He's a part of my Discord server. He's super awesome. And seriously, thank you. Shout out to Ike for making a tutorial on how to get OptiFine to work with Fabric because I could not get it to work to save my life. And you guys can see it made some pretty crazy things happen to my world. So I just want to mention that we are playing in a brand new Minecraft version. I always kind of want to update you guys on those things. Um, but aside from that, in the last episode, we decided that we were going to uh, move some villagers and open up our first business in town. So our first business in town is our sugar cane farm factory type of thing. It is in an old abandoned, uh, well not abandoned, but it's in an old bed and breakfast that is now been, oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Anyway, it was, it's in an old bed and breakfast. We got our villagers all moved in and that is what we did in the last episode. Now I asked you guys for the question of the day in the last episode, what we should name our villager that hasn't been named in here. So one of them's name is Zombert and he was a zombie that was a zombie villager and we converted him into a regular villager. So this is Zombert, he is awesome, he's chilling. And then we have this new guy and I asked you guys to name him. So I did get a comment that I picked, I thought it was awesome. So I wanted to name this guy with you guys on camera and I already have a name tag here and this is Humbert. Um, I th the comment actually said Humbert, um, but I thought Humbert kind of rolled off the tongue a little bit better, but it was kind of inspired by the comment. So the comment that I saw was by the Goo Goo Monkey. So thank you so much for that comment. I thought that was such a good name because we have Zombert and then we have Humbert and Humbert is like the human version of Zomber, even though they're both technically humans now, Zomber was a zombie and Humber has always been a human. So I just thought that was kind of like a fun play on words and they're this dynamic duo that is awesome. Another thing that I did want to mention is that I have had a little bit of weirdness happen with trying to get my, what's it called, replay mod and my OptiFine to work. So kind of what I just talked about with you guys, it wasn't working very well. So I did actually have to revert my save file back um so i had to go to an old version of this world and i know it might not seem like it to you guys but if you actually look at zombert and Hub humbert's trades they're different because i did have to go and do a backup and then i i basically had to redo everything that i had done in the last episode so sorry if that seems a little weird you guys probably won't even notice any difference except for the trades with those two villagers so i thought i would mention that sometimes these technical difficulties happen especially when you're switching um with versions and as you guys saw earlier my world was kind of acting really crazy so things things get weird it happens but i do make frequent backups so i went to my most recent backup and just went from there everything was all good now you guys for today's episode i have a super fun plan i want to take on an ocean monument now let me see if i can find my buckets oh actually i think i think they might be over here over here <laughs> I'm not sure actually yeah they probably are over here because I was filling in the water on the little sugarcane farm so they probably are over here but today you guys I want to take on an ocean monument because I think uh first of all XP is great you can get really good XP doing an ocean monument you can also get a lot of new blocks 
that we can use those to make, you know, roofs and things like that. Where there's gotta be buckets, I'm, I, I feel like I'm just overlooking them. Yeah, I totally was. Okay, there we go. So what I wanna do is I wanna take these buckets and grab some milk because for our adventure today, we are definitely gonna need um, a, a way to get rid of a certain potion effect that happens during the ocean monument. Now, I'm a little bit nervous to take this on as I normally am with everything that I do. Um, okay, let's let's grab some milk here. All right, we'll just go like this. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd be lying to you guys if I said I wasn't nervous. I think the guardians are a little bit of a tough mob, or at least they can be because they do have thorns. So that's something we're going to have to think about. Um, but if we head over here, I did prepare a shulker box for today's episode. So I, I tried to get myself ready for this fight and hopeful, hopefully this is everything that we need. I'm not sure, but we're just going to wing it. We're going to go for it and I think it should be okay. So if you guys remember from the past episode, we actually did find an ocean monument already. It's straight off in this direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over there and it should just take a little while. I'm probably just going to fly with my elytra wings over there. And there, I, I believe there's a little island that we can kind of perch on and pull up, put all of our stuff. And I also do want to set up another portal over there. So that is what we're going to do. I will meet you guys over there and I can't wait. Alrighty guys, welcome to the island. So we are here and there is the big old ocean monument that we're going to be taking on in today's episode. You guys, I'm shaking. Like I'm I'm so nervous to do this because I I oh, I just I feel like these are pretty tough mobs and then you have the whole water breathing thing that you have to do. Thank goodness we did find a conduit in a past episode when we were uh, kind of looting out shipwrecks, which was great. We did find a buried treasure map and then we were able to get the the heart of the sea and then we made a conduit from that. Oh my gosh, I am just, I'm trying to get up here so I can break all this sand down and it's not working very well. So, okay, there we go. Um, so I'm just going to kind of clear out a little spot that we can set up camp here. And it might actually be kind of fun to like actually set up a real camp. I don't know if we need all of that, but I don't know, it'd be kind of fun, like on a deserted island stranded i didn't bring materials to do that but and what i really like about this destination is that it's not too far away from our main base so traveling by nether is actually going to be super simple so we're going to set up a portal here in just a second and i just realized i totally forgot um a flint and steel so uh i'm gonna have to go <laughs> i'm gonna have to go and grab one of those and it's becoming nighttime so let's let's set up camp really quickly and then let's see let's just set up a portal here we'll do something like this and i think we'll go three wide and i, I should be able to sleep okay there we go awesome all right so we're just setting up a small portal that should be pretty good and again i'm gonna have to run back and grab some things so uh, I can I can light this up. So I'll meet you guys back at the base. We'll grab a flint and steel and we'll be good to go. All right, here we go. Flint and steel ready to go. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to bring. I did, like I said, I kind of wanted to like maybe set up a little camp over there. I mean, that could be kind of cool, like actually make a tent and stuff like that. I've never made a tent in Minecraft, but um, I don't I don't know. Maybe we'll take on the temple first and then we'll set up camp there because we actually are going to need it. We're going to need to be able to sleep there when we actually dig out the ocean monument. So that'll be something that we need to do. I'm trying to think, is there anything else we need? Because if we do, I don't I don't want to forget anything, but I think we're okay. So you know what? Let's just do this thing, guys. We are going to head back over and I will meet you guys over there in just a second again. Okay, guys, this is the big moment. We're going to light the portal and I kind of actually want to see where this goes to in the nether. So we'll do that really quickly. I'm going to set this down because my conduit's in here. All of my really valuable stuff is kind of in here. I am going to take off my elytra, put on my diamond chest plate and then we can put the elytra in there. So everything should be safe. I do have backup materials in case something bad does happen. I'm hoping again that nothing terrible happens. Uh, I'm also gonna, mm, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna unload all this sand because I kind of don't really need it. So that's fine. Oh, another thing I wanted to do 
was I wanted to light up this little island just so if it does become nighttime and we do have to come back then we don't have things spawning up here so I wanted to take the take the precautions so that we're good to go all right here we go that should be enough right okay cool um so we're probably gonna need milk we're gonna need our potions but let's head through the nether see where this is and then we'll come back and we'll start oh gosh i'm nervous okay it's gonna be fine oh no oh no oh no oh it linked with our main portal this is exactly why i brought extra obsidian Okay, really quickly, we've got to do some portal fixing. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to head back to the island. I'm going to get the coordinates for the portal that's over there. And then we're going to set up a new portal here in the nether. And then we're going to take on the ocean monument. As always, you know, things just things just keep keep adding our list. We keep adding to our list, which is totally fine. That's how Minecraft goes. Um, but yeah, we should definitely, definitely fix this portal. So give me a second and I will meet you guys back at the island. So the coordinates are 636 and 646. So that's kind of weird. That's like, they're only 10 away. That's so crazy. Um, but 646, 636 is actually where I'm standing, but it'll be close enough. So eh, it's no big deal. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Uh, so what we have to do is go back through the nether, find the coordinates, and then put a portal there. So we're good to go. Um, yeah, this is busted for sure. Okay, so let's see here. Pulling up our coordinates again, we have to find... 79 and 80 so um okay 79 is going to be that way by like a couple steps a hop skip and a jump it's literally right here 79 and then we have to find 80 so that's going to be that way actually that makes this super easy but i think if we just go through here a little bit sorry about the f3 guys i do need it to try to find my way here um we'll be good to go i think this actually shouldn't be too terribly hard to find um it might be near our end portal yeah i think this actually we should just make a bridge off of our portal to the end so let's do that okay so if we go over right here uh this is where we want to do it i, th I think uh, um hopefully i did the math right I think I did. I think we should be good. Um, so I guess we'll make it three wide. That should be fine. It's kind of on that little like weird island right there. Kind of cool. I think on this little island should be close enough for us to be able to find it. So there we go. Um, we'll just kind of meet this up and that actually works out so nicely. I'm really glad it kind of happened this way because this is cool. So good thing I brought extra obsidian. Uh, I, I kind of figured we would have to do something like this. So um, I kind of came prepared for this episode today, uh, but let's see. Let's grab out some nether rack. There we go. But there we go. We should light this and then this should take us now back to the island, which will be good. So now we have a direct portal. If we do decide that we want to travel by nether and there we go. Perfect. And it is nighttime so we can camp out for the night and we're ready to go. This is going to be so awesome. I'm so glad we have um both nether transportation but we also have regular you know we can just fly over here if we want to so i think that's pretty cool but you guys i think it's officially time to take on this ocean monument this is going to be so freaking epic i cannot wait both scary and cool at the same time so let me stop jabbering on and let's just get in and do this thing Okay guys, so this is what I'm bringing to the battle. I'm bringing one water breathing potion because what we've got to do first is we actually, well, okay, this is going to go in two segments. So the, my thought process behind this is the first segment is to collect prismarine so that we can get our conduit down there. Conduit gives you underwater breathing so we don't have to have a potion effect and we want to do that first. I'm going to bring my milk buckets because then we can use the, uh, we'll have mining fatigue if we don't. Oh! I forgot depth strider boots. That's a that's a key thing for this. Oh man. Okay, really, really quickly, you guys, I'm gonna go grab some depth strider boots and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so here is our moment, our time to shine. Uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should grab a boat uh, to get us over there. I, I don't know, I guess, I mean, we could just swim. I did have a little bit of wood in here that we could use, but uh, I, uh da, 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 da. do we go by boat? I mean, boat's faster. Okay, we'll just add uh, executive decision. We're doing the boat. 
Okay, so let's uh, take out my magenta sugar. I think it's in here. Yeah, so if we do two of those and then we can go like this. Boom, boom. And we got a little oak boat. Perfect. Um, you know what? I'm just going to leave this out just in case we need anything else. But let's do this. I am so nervous. Okay, this is going to be fine. We're going to be okay. We, we beat the wither. Come on. We can do this. We beat the dragon. Come on. We can do this. Um, okay, it's just, a it's just a little guardian temple. Okay, going in. Oh, I need to take my potion too. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. So we've got the underwater breathing. Now my goal is hopefully we don't get mining fatigue. And what I want to do is I literally just want to go in. Oh, there we go. We got the mining fatigue. Dang it. Um, okay, so that was kind of pointless and I'm getting zapped. This is, this is off to a great start. Um, so what we want to do is oh, perfect room. Okay, this is where we'll put our door so we can breathe. Um, okay, stop zapping me, please. And like I said, what we want to do is we want to collect blocks so that we can make our conduit. But the thing is, uh, I did this with the wither fight. I drank milk and it got rid of my water breath. It's going to get rid of my water breathing effect. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, we got him. Okay. We got our first one. That was pretty crazy. Okay. Um, oh, this is a room. I didn't even really realize that. Um, all right. Okay. So I'm going to take the milk because I don't, I can't do the mining fatigue. I, I've got to... Be able to mine blocks um and there we go we got the, we got the mining fatigue again mm, this is gonna be interesting all right another milk down the hatch there we go okay 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 i already forgot see this is what happens um all right let's do this there we go okay good we're just gonna mine out everything we can because we only need like a, a few blocks kind of i mean i don't I guess we okay there we go there's another one. Oh, i'm getting zapped oh geez the thorns is bad okay where to go where to go i lost him oh gosh uh oh there he is zapping me okay no mm, got him okay sweet Whew, this is like a lot harder than it seems all right let's get that block i've got mining fatigue okay let's drink and we got the mining fatigue again all right let's just go up and grab blocks see how many we've got here and see if it's enough to lay down our conduit. So I did bring it with me. And this actually probably would be a pretty good room to put it in. I see that little one up there kind of creeping on me. No, no, break the line of sight. Break the... All right, let's eat up. Oh, where's my doors? Except for that guy. He's going to be me in just a second. Yep, see? Okay, okay, okay. This is so much harder than it seems. This is so much harder than the wither fight, like for real. The wither fight, I feel like it's just intense. This one, like, you're pretty much mobbed like you're swarmed by all these guys so it's it makes it a lot harder um okay so 22 blocks is that gonna be enough uh i actually have no clue but what we're gonna do is oh hello hello <laughs> i'm sorry i don't i don't want to do this but i've got to because you're attacking me and you know that's not very nice so okay there we go got that guy so what i'm thinking is if we put the conduit down <laughs> i feel like i'm playing like peekaboo with this with this fish okay um so all right guys i need to find a place to put this conduit that's the most important thing and i got extra blocks just in case oh man okay 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 oh geez this is so crazy okay so i think if i put it right here and then i take milk and i mine that block out we might get a low conduit working okay there we go oh check it out it worked it worked you guys so now i have the conduit effect which means we can breathe underwater forever ah we did it okay sick this is amazing this is good stuff um and we can just take out these guardians which is going to be great now the one thing that i do want to do is i want to head back up to the surface and i want to grab the potions that we need uh because i i want to do this with the strength potion if i can hello don't zap me please geez okay man these guys are rough yeah, I think we'll definitely need strength uh, to to at least help us with the process. I don't, I, I mean, it might be kind of overkill, but I think it'd be better than nothing, if you know what I mean. Okay, there we go. That's the out. Okay, there's totally zapping me. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Get me out, get me out. Where's my boat? It's over there. Oh no. Okay, just go, just go, just go, just swim. This is why we have our depth strider. Oh man, okay. So far, so good, though. And I should have brought a cow with me. 
But I mean, right now, I guess we don't even have to worry about the mining fatigue because we have, we got all the blocks we needed. We didn't even need blocks. I could have just put the conduit down and it would have worked. But anyway, better safe than sorry. You know, it's always good to grab extra stuff just in case. So I'm going to take night vision strength and then I don't need water breathing. So we're good. So we're just going to take these two. I guess I do have a milk bucket just in case. Um, and all this stuff just in case. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Do I have everything? Am I ready? Okay, I think I'm ready. So let's just, let's just do it. I also have ender pearls. I wonder, oh geez. Um, guys, this is bad. This is so bad. This is actually so bad. Hold on, get me out. Get me out of here. That was, that was a bad move. No, no, no. Eat, 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 eat. They're still lasering me though. So hold on, let me get a, get a distance away. All right, guys, so I think what we're going to do is we are going to try to dive bomb that guardian. <laughs> I think this might be the stupidest plan I've ever had in my Minecraft life. So um, we'll just see how it goes. I don't know. And I have mining fatigue, so not like I really can anyway. But we're going to take the milk, take our potion of night vision, take that. And we still have mining fatigue. I guess I didn't take the milk. Crap. Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> okay, we're just going to go in. Screw it. Coming in, coming in. Gosh, they're so intense. Oh, I do not like these things. This is crazy. Okay, get me in. You are the worst. You are literally the worst. Oh my, there's like five of them. Jeez. Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of here. This is so crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, these. Do you guys see that? That's a big one. That's the one of the elder guardians. Okay. Oh, we're going in. Okay, please regen. Please regen my heart. Oh, this is so rough. Okay, I, I do have my strength, though. All right, I know you have your spikes out, but, you know, oh, God, okay. All right, the thorns. And I got the, okay. Thank you, Conduit, for providing me with life. Okay, he's not spotting me, so that's good. I'm gonna wait till my hearts get up, and then we'll go back in. Oh, we got this. We got this, guys. I'm, I'm confident we can do this without a death. Okay, let's go on up. I know you have your spikes out, and I know that you're, it's harder when your spikes are out, but whatever. There we go. Oh, gosh. Okay. 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 Come on. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got our first one. Nice. Okay, sweet. And we got a sponge, you guys. This is going to be so helpful for projects that I have in the future, um, or projects that I want to do in the future, I guess I should say. Um, okay, so you got to go. We got to find the other guardians. Uh, okay, so he was in here. This is the one with the big beam in it. That's pretty cool. So I think this one's the top. I think we're at the top of the temple, and there should be a guardian in here. Oh, look at the dark prismarine. That'd be kind of nice to have, but I do have the mining fatigue, and, uh, if I... I'm gonna lose my strength if I... if I take that, um... Which does kind of stink, but I mean, I guess we could just do it. Oh, we're just gonna do it. I think we need to get in here, and I'm sorry if you guys can't... Oh, wait, this is a sponge room. Oh, okay, well, I'm glad we came in here because this is actually really awesome. Not exactly what I was looking for and probably wasn't worth uh, the mining for, or taking away the, the potion effects. But I mean, hey, it's, it's all right. Uh, okay, oh, there's an elder. Okay, we found one. Oh, gosh. Okay, I know you're mad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God, he's zapping me big time. All right. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. Got him! Okay, that actually wasn't so bad, and we didn't really need the strength, to be completely honest. So I think we're good. Now there's just one more that we have got to find. Where are we gonna find... not you. <laughs> Where are we gonna find another one? We might have to break some things. You guys, we found it. We found the last one. Oh my gosh, I had to swim a little ways, but we actually found it. That is amazing. Okay, so I want to eat up, make sure I'm healed ready for this fight this is going to be our last one we've got our, our three guardians in here and then we're good to go so let's just charge let's charge it and go oh man he really packs a punch okay okay all right we want to dip and dodge wave and wobble i don't know <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying um okay let's let's just do this just just go in okay um just kidding <laughs> we're gonna retreat back a little bit Okay, okay. Don't, don't zap me, please. Back him into a corner. Are you feeling nervous? There we go. <gasps> we did it. We did it. We got the three guardians. Oh my gosh. Okay. My final, 
thoughts on this is guardian temples are pretty hard. They're like labyrinths, so they can be kind of hard to get around. I think that actually is somewhat of the hardest part is actually finding these guys. Um, okay, so yeah, I want to I wanna collect up some of these sponges. I will need these for a future project, so I think that's going to be cool. But now that we have officially... Um, oh yeah, I have mining fatigue. I forgot. <laughs> um, I'll come back and get these later. But now that we have officially taken on an ocean monument, what we can do is we can turn this into a farm. We're going to make a guardian farm for sure. It's one of the staples that you should probably do in your Minecraft world. It's great for XP. It gives you a really nice block, the dark prismarine, as well as these other prismarine blocks. So it's very, very good. It's a good thing, a good farm to have. And actually, let me make sure I'm safe before I go out there because very scary out there be looking out for future videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button because that will notify you when we actually uh come into a guardian farm it's probably something i'm going to work on in between episodes too because you do have to clear out this whole area so that'll be a little bit tricky but i'm excited i think that's going to be cool and also i think to finish out this episode what i wanted to do was build the um the little camp on our island i think it'd be kind of a fun thing to come to every time we come over here and while i'm actually trying to work on this farm in between episodes i'll have a place to sleep and things like that aside from just you know camping out on a beach i have collected some resources for this build that we're gonna do it's gonna be a quick little build and i also think well i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do a time lapse for it just because um we already have done so much in this episode that if i talk through it it would make the episode really long so um yeah just to save a little bit of time and so that you guys can still see it in real time and real action but yeah, i don't have to you know go block for block with you guys uh you guys will get the idea as we build it but yeah it, it should be pretty cool i'm excited i i have no idea what i'm doing to be completely honest as I have been with most of this series. I just kind of wing things and hope it turns out. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, but yeah, we are going to make a little beach hut with like maybe a little campsite or something. But one thing that I actually wanted to do for this was since it's episode 30, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to do a little bit of this in shaders. So we haven't done shaders in a while and I think it'd be fun. So let's flip into the shaders right now. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is what the shaders look like. Now, I got a new shader pack. This is the BSL, I believe is what it's called. <laughs> uh, BSL shader pack. Uh, it's, it's a little, yeah, BSL. And I really think this is a really cool shader pack. The only thing is I had to like bump down the brightness a little bit. So it does look kind of weird, but literally everything was like fluorescent. It was like fluorescent white and it was crazy um so yeah that was it was kind of intense but this shader pack is gorgeous oh that was actually kind of spooky that looked like a shark that was like some jaws stuff happening right there what is that what is that that looks so weird um but i think it is a little too intense for today's video so i might just go back to either sillers or my tried and true uh chocopic 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 whatever you call it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's actually uh, switch sh shaders right now. All right, guys, so we are in the newest version of the Silder shaders. And uh, again, this one looks really intense. Like, okay, I don't know, does, does this happen with your guys' computers? Cause I swear like, okay, I'm friends with the mythical sausage and his, I swear his isn't this bright in his videos and it doesn't have like more that purple tint to it. Am I doing something wrong to where my shaders are like really bright? Do you have to mess with the settings or something? Sausage, help me. <laughs> I, sh I should discord him and be like, what the heck? Because his look perfect. Like his always looks so good. And then when I get in mind, they have this like weird cast over them or they're like too purple or too foggy looking or they're just like way too bright. I don't know. Um, Maybe we'll jump into Chocopic because like this looks fantastic, but like it just looks... I don't know it's like something about it is super bright i don't know okay hold on let's go into troll copic and see what that looks like ah uh, that is it Woo! you guys troll copic is the sweet spot it is the shaders that it is it's the best shaders i'm sorry d d there's no contest like chocopic is the best shader pack you guys see how like the the tones aren't too too bright but they're not like 
super dull either they're just that sweet spot in the middle where everything looks really nice the sky is like a perfect blue color the water is like a nice blue but um we're gonna start building here in just a second i uh the sun's going down so i gotta sleep but in the morning i'll come back with you guys and we are going to do a time lapse so i will catch you guys after this time lapse is all finished guys welcome back after the time lapse i hope you enjoyed a little bit of what i got i didn't i don't think i got everything um but i kind of wanted to have a big reveal as well so that kind of worked out but um yeah so uh let's i'm staring at the ocean because i don't want to give it away look at that ominous ominous shape down there okay anyway <laughs> um let's flip around and let me show you guys what i have done this okay i will say before we get started that this has turned out way better than i thought it was going to so here we go this is my island beach house holy crap you guys i haven't been this like happy with a build in like a, a few weeks like a few maybe a month i don't know it's just like this build was so fun to do and i don't know why but i'm so excited about it like this is my first palm tree that i've ever done and i think it looks so cool actually that's kind of like a screenshot moment hold on okay screenshot beep. <laughs> so yeah i did my first ever palm tree it's kind of like a leaning palm i did a little dock here this is where our boat goes so that every time we need to go out to the ocean monument we can use this boat and kind of go back and forth okay sorry guys i had to go and sleep really quick because it was becoming dark and i wanted you guys to be able to see the build um but anyway so going on with our little tour that we're doing so yeah just a bunch of crates and barrels and things for um maybe when the whatever the villager that got stranded out here left some things uh this also is supposed to be kind of our campsite so it's mainly for us whenever we're building the ocean monument build so that'll be interesting um but yeah i did a campfire and there's a couple seats around the campfire so we can come out and sit on our little lonely island out here and i think that's pretty cute it's kind of cool i love the new campfires i think they're really awesome uh, again my palm tree with the little coconuts super cool and then just like cascading leaves i do want to add a few leaves i think uh it, it could use a little more especially on this side like right there um but other than that i think the palm tree is pretty cute and then um down here is our portal so of course we can get into the nether if we need to uh, so I like how that is kind of integrated into the design and it's a little bit hidden underneath. And then down here, actually, if we go through this little part here is where I keep my cows. I don't actually, okay, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if because we killed the guardian, can we never get the, the, um, slow mining effect because we killed the guardians and I think it's the guardians that give that effect to you. So I'm not entirely sure, but I brought cows over just in case we do have any potion effects. If you guys have the answer, feel free to let me know down in the comment section. After you kill the three guardians, it, do, you, do you not get mining fatigue anymore? I feel like it would make sense that you don't because you killed them and then like they're gone. So it's like, who gives you mining fatigue? No one. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, I digress. 
they're here anyway and they kind of give a little bit more atmosphere so i think that's cool thing in the back of the build but if we go up here this is like a little staircase this is very open i wanted this place to feel super rickety so you'll notice there's like pieces torn out of the wall um like it wasn't built very sturdy you know little holes in the walls and things like that we have a few over here as well where they're kind of just a little bit jagged and um I, I have lots of storage i don't know what we're gonna put in this but i guess this is just for maybe anything extra or if we collect things from the ocean monument we can put the extras in here um so yeah a little bit of decoration over here more crates and barrels and things like that chests a bed so we can sleep the night away which is great i did the bookshelf effect where if you put a loom sort of next to a bookshelf it kind of looks like those bookshelves are empty sort of i think it'd be a little bit better if we actually did the same like color back there as um like if we change that that might be actually that might be kind of cool hmm, that's a texture pack thing to think about for the future but yeah i love this place you guys it makes me so so happy and uh we can take a fly i actually do have a little fly thing in the back so that if we ever do need to take off we can just jump and then take off right from there and yeah check this out this see there needs to be some leaves up there so just ignore the bald patch on the tree um but there is our ocean temple and ooh, we have uh an island well this is cool we have multiple islands okay I'm, I'm using all my rockets but anyway we have our temple which is right here and then we have our little tiny island which i love it looks so cool and i just I'm, I'm really happy with this, so I hope you guys like it. It's a little bit different than the build style we've been doing in this this world so far, um, but I kind of feel like I'm still trying to figure out my build style. This was just one of those builds that was kind of just for fun and for practice, and I really, really enjoy it, so I hope you guys do too. But you guys, that is officially going to have to end today's episode. This was such a fun one. I had so much fun doing this episode and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys are liking the shaders too here at the end. Uh, I want to do shaders more because I kind of forgot how beautiful it is and how cool it can make your builds look. But like I said, that is going to have to end today's episode. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias. I have Twitter, Instagram. Again, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I cannot wait for the next episode and I cannot wait to show you guys what we get up to next and what we do. I'm going to work on the guardian farm in between episodes because there's going to be a lot of clearing out and honestly, it's going to be really boring. So uh, I figure that's something I'll probably do by myself. I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye guys.